Hello everyone, you're welcome to our channel and today I'll be showing you how to create a bell line for your school using the school administrator software. If you're joining us for the first time, click on the subscribe button to get notification on our new videos that will be posted. Okay, so let's get started. First, you log in using your username and your password and this is what is going to be seen on your screen okay today we are creating bell lines for our school remember in our previous video we created levy for a particular school, Phillips Nursery and Primary School, and today we will be configuring the bell system for Phillips Nursery and Primary School. Okay, so this is our school, and this is the option for school bell. Before we start that configuration, you should know that this software rings electronic bells for each period as stored in your database with the help of a bell ringing server. It is very portable, very small, more like a phone size. And that bell ringing server will be installed in the school premises by adaptive technologies. Now also, bell lines are the actual wires that connect the bell ringing server to the actual school bell. Okay, so let's proceed. Here, we do not have any bell lines found in Phillips Nursery and Primary School. So we are going to create a new bell line for this institution. So I'm going to click on this new bell line. And this is what we have. Now here we have the option of choosing the general bell line or assign this bell line to any of the classrooms. Remember in the template we have nine progress levels, nine classrooms. So this is, this is reflected here. But today we are creating a bell line, a general bell line. This is not Specify this is not linked to any class. Any class can use this. And we are choosing a bell pin. You can also choose any bell pin, whatever is suitable for you. But for me here, I am going to click on pin 5 and save. Okay, see. This general bell line has been added into the database and when this is successful for you, you can go ahead and edit the bell period, the time you want your bell to ring. Now for Monday, let's edit. Resumption time, let's say 7.45 a.m. Remember a.m. If it is p.m., you also indicate. If it is a.m., you indicate. But be sure to check your timing so you know which to pick. And you click OK. Then you save changes. Okay, here you see what was formerly 7.30 is now 7.45 and closing period is 3 p.m. So you can add another period by clicking on new period and you can choose your ring type. Okay, let's say break time 11 30 11 okay 
Capital T AM. Okay. Now, after that, you click on Save Changes. Okay, here we go. Now, your break time has been added. Now, you can add another period, which is break over, which will be 12 o'clock. Okay, as 12 p.m. and you click on OK, then you save changes. Yes, so this is what you have. Now you see that the time are arranged orderly from your resumption time, break time, break over, and closing time. So when the bell ringing server is installed, once it is this time, your bell automatically rings. Now you can do, you can effect these changes on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So that is successful. If you need to delete any any period you just click on this delete icon here and that period automatically leaves the system okay so that is how to create bell line for an institution so that will be all for today thank you for watching if you like this video Click on the like button and give it a thumbs up. And if it is your first time, like I said earlier, please click on the subscribe button to get notifications on our new videos. Thank you so much for watching and see you in our next video. Bye. Adaptive Technologies. We make your business adapt to technology.